G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, and welcome back to Demolishers Only. Somehow, it is now day 30, this has gone by in a blink, and the idea, the series that I was just planning on doing for one week has turned into, well, more than four now, which is getting well and truly out of hand. I'm coming back, because the sun's about to rise, and there's a whole lot of work to be done. <laughs> And I, yesterday was a bit dicey. Today's going to be the same, I'm sure. So I did my best overnight to make as much uh, glue as I could. I've got oh, two more waters left in you. All the rest of the water has been used. I uh, I didn't even get close. I didn't even get close to making the sniper rifle that I wanted to. I'm still nine duct tapes away. So you can just kind of hang out in there for a moment. But what I did also manage to do overnight is get all of the loot from the horde base and bring it over here to the point where I now have too much gubbins. I've got a dedicated box just full of regular 762s because this one got chockers. My mods box got chockers, so I've made these boxes over here. I have too many sport helmets. Like, yeah, they're valuable. Yeah, I can sell them, but I can only sell three at a time. I just have too many. I've got too much 9mm ammo. I've got too much of everything. So I'm going to start getting pretty, um judicious about scrapping everything I possibly can just to free up some space and keep things moving. As much as I would love to just hang around at home where everything is nice and safe, I do have to get cracking on. I have to keep moving. I have to keep pushing. I still need concrete. I need to find the motorcycle handlebars. I need duct tape. I need springs. I basically need everything. It's weird to have so much stuff but nothing at the same time. Oh my goodness, you are speedy. I forgot about that. Um, I've chucked in my supercharger mod, so if this thing now flies at the, oh, basically the speed of sound. Oh, I forgot my hacker's candy. I forgot my hacker's candy. I need to get the springs out of cars. I've invested in it. There's cars in town. Can't be going without the good stuff. Look at the speed. Look at the speed this thing is caning around now with. Who even is the bloody motorcycle? This is going to do just fine for me. But here it is. This is where I want it to be. This is some sort of car park. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if there's going to be any Muppets in here. Like, is it is it deserted? Are there dogs? Are there any things? Or is it just me and a bunch of empty cars? All right, I'm going to save... Ooh, hang on. Chuck on you, just in case. I'm going to save the uh, hacker's candy until I've done all the looting. Every second counts, I'm doing this. There's some duct tape. I can make a quality one ratchet too. Mm, but I've already got the... I've got the tier 6 wrench full of mods. I'm sure it's actually still pretty decent. Nah, I'm not gonna go home. <laughs> I'll wait until I've got a slightly better one. Why not? Well, there's a spring. Thank you. We'll do that later. I don't want to waste any more time than absolutely necessary. Is that your head sticking through the door? <laughs> I reckon it is. Hold on a second. It was too. All right. Physics be damned. Brains be damned. One of the cars was a copper car, so I'm gonna quickly... I do have a lot of picks on me. Quickly pick away into you. I could beat you to death and call in demos, but I think I should just stop taking such abundant risks if at all I can avoid it. I already have issues enough just going through POIs. Calling in a cop horde just for the sake of it seems like a pretty bang average idea. There, especially if you pop you open like that. Anyway, lovely. And I might actually start with you, maybe. Eat you, scrap you. There's a copper just in the distance, so hold on. Oh, he, he saw me and decided this probably wasn't the neighborhood for him. See you later. Oh, you know what? I'm going for it then. Chuck you in. And I think the XP gogs is the way to go. Although Perception actually has the uh, salvage operations skill in it. So I reckon Ben Max and you might help me. Give me those springs. Give me all the bleeding springs. I need to be on the lookout as well for anything animal. And like any bodies on the ground as well. Anything that's going to give me the bones that I need. Because that is about to be a rather pressing issue for my glue production. Like, yeah, the water is a problem. But I can't really do much about that. Just find it where I can. But... I usually overlook the bodies, but now I don't have that luxury. I kind of miss the days. Remember like in Alpha 16, um, they used to be the gore blocks. It was a big problem after Horde Nights, but a lot of your day the next day clearing out all the goo around your face because the zombies would die and get turned into a gore block that actually functioned as a block. So like on your, your sea of spikes back when they were full. G'day. Back when they were effective, you like all the gore blocks to sit on top of it, and the next set of zombies would walk across the top. That was definitely a challenge, but that meant there was never any issue 
with bones. But now you can't harvest zombies. Apparently they made a gelatin. I don't even have... What? Did my... Surely not. Surely it hasn't run out already. I thought the hacker's candy lasted like eight minutes or so. And I've got iron guns. I should have lasted longer again. Did it do that thing where I ate the candy but didn't actually count as me eating so it never gave me the buff? If that's so, that is a stitch up and a half. I'm going to be rather upset about that. Well, I mean, I suppose I've got the, like, a lot of the springs I need anyway, so I shouldn't be too upset about it. But, like, I planned ahead. I did the right thing for a change. I made the steps I was supposed to make. If it hasn't given me the buff, it's just proof. It's just proof that the game hates me. I should never even bother doing it right and just do it the wrong way. It seems to work for me anyway. If it's wrong and it works, it's good enough. Well, I guess the good news of that is that I don't really need to worry about wasting any time on the candy because it's already gone or never started in the first place. Old mates will crank with me, and so is the frame rate. But, oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. All right. Ooh, oh, it's the clock tower. I missed the clock tower. What a good time that was way back when. It was like the first series I did in Alpha 18, 19, maybe. I'm not actually sure, but it was a long time ago now. Put you down. This is my home, bud. This is my home. <laughs> no one's better here than me. Let's park up my bike right here so I can make a quick getaway should I need to. Oh, it's a tough... Nah, he's gone. He's gone. Leave him alone. It's all right. You don't have to kill everything you see that moves. We just talked about not picking fights if you don't need to. This is a pretty big place. It's a tier four clear. And I don't super recognize it. It seems like a lot of small buildings. So this could be... A rather bad idea. I guess this is the way in. Some coffee plants right in my face. I might actually change you. No, I need you. I'll change out that one. I'm, I can change back to the wrench if I need to do some salvaging. I really need a, um, a wrench quickly. I was gonna say someone's mad. Stuck in the door, but they do have that higher damage now. So they're gonna break through things all the time. You're gone. I probably shouldn't be going with this spear, but apparently I am. I don't really need to conserve ammo, but... Oh, that's what I decided to do. Regular ammo. Not AP. Save the AP. Gone. Gone. Guns are just really loud, though, and I'm hyper aware there's demos everywhere around here. <sighs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Mind the bullet. <laughs> mind the bullet. Mind your face. God damn, come up close and smell me. There's a couple of different ways to go. I'm not super sure. Actually, there's a torch right there. Which is the right way to be going? No one hiding out behind in there. At least I'm on the ground floor. I can't fall through the floor uh, into a basement or something. But that's famous last words. Immediately as I said that, I was like, mm, I probably can. Let's not count any chickens. I've already gone through the newspaper stand. I could have left the door closed so no one could find me. Paintbrush. No, thank you. I'll actually take the clay. I, I need so many things. I, I I'm not in a position to turn down anything at this point. Especially murky water. Thank you. I reckon this goes back to about the same area. There's a hole in that door, but it would have gone... Well, actually, there's a hole... Oh, it's a clear quest, Josh. You can't be taking shortcuts. You got to make sure you hit every part of the building and clear everybody out. Otherwise, the trade won't give you the very mediocre rewards that he hasn't promised you. Well, I mean, I could go stealthy. I'm not sure how much point there is, though. I mean, oh, and that's like an open shot like that. Nice and simple. That pissed someone off. Piss a couple off, actually. All right, just don't panic. That's the biggest issue with you, Josh, is you panic half the time. And when you don't panic, apparently, you actually do okay. Who would have thought? Yeah, so this is down on the other side. I was just on the other side of that door a moment ago. Open up the back door, make sure no one should have beat their way in. I was thinking before, when, like, I unlocked the last door. Like, yeah, it's a point of ingress for zombies, but it's also a point of egress for me. And I think it's probably more likely that I'm going to shit myself and have to very quickly evacuate wherever I am rather than uh, anyone outside coming inside. I mean, I'll still come inside anyway, but one zombie showing up is... Oh, oh god. Less of an issue than me getting stuck in places just like that. Um, did I go the wrong way? I think I did. Crouch on through the window. Drop you. Get them all outside. Just get them all outside and fight them in the street. It's a much, much better play, even with a shitty frame rate. Sorry about your nips. Almost clattered them. Don't leave the building, please. Uh, run all the way around. 
Thank God I'm invested in cardio, so I'm running like a goddamn breeze. Missed it. Oh, didn't miss that one. Get behind the wall, behind the wall, behind the wall. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. Put that in immediately. I'm on the bounds of the POI. Hold up. Holy shit. Holy shit. All right. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Did my bike survive? My bike survived. Um, I need to put another one of you to go back to full health, please. Not a lot of burnings at the building across the street. Look how close that was, though. I got just... I was like, here. Yeah. I got behind that pillar and the pillar's now gone. This is... There is a lot of very close shaves happening. I'm not thrilled. I'm not especially sure how I'm still alive and kicking, but when the gods of seven days give you a gift, you do not question it. And it's rare... Ooh, that's very handy. I'll keep you for later. Because I'm pretty much okay now. I think one more first step banner will get me up. I did take a painkiller, though, so my hydration's going to be knackered. But yeah... I've learned enough this game that when something finally goes your way, you don't think about it too hard. You just be thankful and push on. Speaking of pushing on, there's eight Mega Crushes in you. And I need that for Horde because I definitely lost a few of them. I'll take the red tea so I can drink that straight away as soon as the painkillers de... Oh my goodness. Dehydrate me. That's a goddamn landmine, Josh. How did you miss that one, you pineapple? Hold on. All right. Yep. <laughs> That's, that's a pretty significant issue. Do I even have that book? I'm pretty sure I do that I don't kick landmines. I should really be better about that though. One of these days I won't have the book and oh, I don't have the book. That was oh, yet another close call. What am I doing? How am I still here? There's a body at the top of the stairs. And actually come to think of it, I don't think I checked if there were bodies downstairs. Ooh, back down we go. I mean, it was... Oh, yeah, you. You're most of a body, but there's still a couple of bones there and a body out of you. This is the thing. I don't have that habit of harvesting the bodies. I just never really think of it, so I miss it every bloody time. Was there anyone else? I don't really think so. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just keep on going. We'll find more bodies later, I'm sure. Unless I keep on going, it's pretty sure the only body to harvest will be my own, and that's not very efficient of me. All right, next level. If things go bad, just jump down the escalators and get the fuck out of here. Oh, out the window too. Go out the window. I can hear foot footsteps. Do you not know where I am? He doesn't know where I am. He's just come up to admire the view out of the window. Who's super keen on getting that nice panorama? All right. Well, that's fine. That's less fine. Come on, Josh. What did I say? If you panic, you die. So how about you try not panicking for a change? Good o. The sound of the rifle didn't go nearly as far as I thought, so you can get dropped too. It's already midday, and I've barely even scratched the surface of this goddamn place. There's so much more to go. Got some herbals. I think... Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not too thirsty to get. I'll keep you for later. Not now. Not now. I can't go get that. All right. It's on a building somewhere. I'm going to save you as that so I can go and get you later on. God damn it. It's, today's not going well so far. I'm not 100% sure again of where to go. This is like much more of a maze than I'm used to dealing with. Oh, that scared genuine tits off me. Oh, I thought something was coming up behind me and I was in a menu and I was never going to get there. I was just trying to get my bloody wrench out to take apart the vendo. Broken vendos are good for steel and springs. Yeah, this is much more of a maze than I'm used to. Normally, these dungeon POIs are pretty linear, but this is all over the bleeding shop. You're gone. I see the blinking light of the demo through... Oh, through... there's two of them over there. Could, oh, no, he's lying down. Okay, well... Hit you first. Wait for the shot to drop you. But the extra damage of the AP is doing wonders. Uh, you're right. <laughs> you're right there, Cobber. That's certainly one way to make an entrance. Still not dead. Got you. Oh, of course the loot falls down there, though. You couldn't go down, but the loot did. Oh, I'll get that later. There's a random chicken. 
<laughs> in the back of the kitchen. I know people like some of their meat, uh, or basically still breathing, but that's taking chicken to a new level. That's definitely not something you want medium rare. Oh, yeah, the pumpkin, trying to get myself back up and going again. All right, more up. More up is always the way. That's not a body, it's an old ladder. I could have just taken... I could have just taken the escalators. I was so distracted by all the things going on. There was a bloody escalator there directly to where I wanted to be. And I gapped it. All right, <laughs> sick. I'm just not very... For a man who's got four eyes, I'm not very observant. I heard a groan and I ran and it was probably the right move. Over we go. I do... Oh. Oh, there we go. I do like the parkour means I can just kind of like just get over the top of any any mobs, any uh, demos that are coming for me. You're gone. Good. Like just be able to hop them. As long as there's space in the roof is such a good thing. Parkour, maybe, maybe, maybe potentially not willing to say completely yet. Maybe the comments were right and the parkour is ridiculously OP. I like it. It's definitely saving my butter. Oh, this is not the place. Oh, this is not the place. Not the place where I want- Oh, shit, what do I want to have a battle? Didn't mean to fire that just then. They're coming, they're coming down the elevator. That's the wrong gun. That's the better one. I was going to say, I'm going to hope they're going to line up for him, but I'm not confident they're going to because they're still faffing about up there. That was always- I saw- I saw more legs through- through that other door. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's all right, just tank a couple of hits and you get the window. You're just gonna have to accept you're gonna get battered a little bit here, Wordle, because you're not gonna make it through unscathed. All right, is that most of the ones up here? Yeah, it was. I stuck my head up that bloody hatch and the demo started waking up. That was not a nice feeling. At least you get to come outside and get a breath of fresh air. It's <laughs> just not being in an enclosed space with explosives just makes it feel so much better. The view's not half bad either. I did see though. There's some birds nests around. Birds are made of bones and I kind of need those. So if they want to come squawking my way, I'll happily harvest them up. Where's... So I just came out of that middle building. So it's just all, all down all the time. Do you reckon there's going to be demos hanging out in there? I reckon there might be, but at least I can jump back on top. No, there's not. Oh. But also, yes, there is. I hate it when they're spawning after I've gone past. So cheeky. Oh, I was right too. There were demos in there. All right, well, I, listen. I occasionally, I stumbled into the correct assumption. It's not common, but it happens every now and again. Cheeky coffee, scrap you. I'll scrap you. I'll eat that and I'll take the ammo. Those bloody sport helmets. I have no need for them. I have so many already. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, they already know I'm here. Oh, they already know I'm here. Where's going to be the best place to fight them, Josh? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? How are you going to deal with the wandering horde? I guess just wait to see where they're going to come up. There's not a lot I can do until I know where I'm going to fight them. I'd have to try and line them up somewhere. Like there. All right, come over here then. Come up this ladder for me. That was a bold move. And probably the wrong move. Oh, it was the wrong move. All right, we're going Another little path up this way. Come to me, please. Right up that boardwalk. Oh, god damn it. The elevation change. The elevation change has cooked me. Oh, and I've just spawned in more. I got too close to the spawning wall. Okay, back over this way. I missed that shot on you. Oh, this is dicey. We're just going to be running rings the whole bleeding time until we get some sort of avenue. Right there. Just don't hit nips. Just whatever you do, just don't hit nips. Hit anything but nips. They're starting to get separate, which means all my parting isn't working. Oh, nearly as well as it could have. Oh, that was a dicey pill when I had a demo inside my face, but is what it is. Oh, get down the side. Yep, this is, this is not clean. This is not clean, nor is it smooth, nor anything resembling talented. Excuse me, we're gonna go around this way. Half of them are moving a little bit slow because they have copped up a couple of rounds to several parts of their bodies. Uh, ladder. Get back to the ladder. Up we, uh, up we go, please. Old mate's dead just there. I've got eight rounds in the mag, so don't need to reload just yet, but probably do now. This is no, like, good spot. He's gone over that way. He's going to cover that ladder in a moment, so... No oh, shit! Get off the roof! Oh, 
Oh god! I saw him! I- Shit! I saw him at the last minute! He just poked his head over the top of the building and I was like, Oh fuck, that's line of sight. That's bad for me and sure as shit, it bloody was too. You're gone. I was gonna say, still, he's not gone. He's not gone, he's still up and going. You need to piss off, please. Tree's gone in the background because it got exploded. See you. I need some health. I need some stamina. I need you to die. Right. So remember just before when I was like, hey, I turned up the explosion radius and uh, the, the block damage the demos do? Turns out I've turned them into even worse nukes than they were before. There's not much left in this building. Like at all. Look at this place. Look at this place. It's crumbled. I really thought I was convinced then that I was dead. When that one demo who had his light blinking stuck his nose up on top of that ledge and looked me in the eye, I was like, that's it. I'm too close. He's got line of sight. This is going to shred me. And I had I had no idea what to do. I froze. I froze like I'm in freaking Jurassic Park eating some jelly and looking at a freaking dinosaur. Right. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> yeah, Josh, let's play Demolishers Only. What could go wrong? This could go wrong. Oh, I can hear you. I can hear so much. Oh my God, I can hear so much more. Why are you back? Why are you back? Why? Uh, I, I, can't, I can't fight in this goddamn shambles of a building. I gotta leave. I gotta leave and just get out of here somewhere or at least I can kind of figure myself out and know which way's up, which way's left and right. Where do they all come from? Is that... Is that the end? Like, is this the last battle, but they've come out to meet me? I mean, I suppose if they're beating out the floors and the walls, then I suppose they might have spawned in earlier than they should have before I got to the main loot room, because this is a lot of demos for just a random room. You need to die. You need to die. That's it. That was it. That was all of them. It must have been. Because I think... Isn't the final room in this place... Oh, I reckon I have actually. I reckon there's a hole somewhere in the building that goes to the loot room and they've spawned in and heard me and woken up. Cause yeah, the loot room's like down in there. Where is it? I'm gonna, I wanna find it now, I need to know. Yeah, it's this one. It's this one. I reckon that's the loot room right there. I still have more of the POI to go through. Like I've done the job at least, which I mean, it wasn't clean, but I got it done. So I've got to keep the tier files because they're actually worth quite a bit of coin and I'm nothing but a fiend for some cash. But like now, now where do I go? The, the building's gone. Where's like, <laughs> where, where's the next bit of the path I was supposed to follow? And if I'm wrong about that, actually, well, I've already done the clear quest. There can't be more demos. So let's test the theory. It is too. Oh, no wonder it is too. There's fucking half the walls missing. Of course they heard me and came looking. Well, I'm going to take this for the positive outcome that it is. The job is done. I've got to the loot. I'm sure I've missed part of the building. However, the, that part of the building may no longer actually exist. So I'm just going to take what I can out of you. Uh, you and you. My loot level is 100. It needs to be 101, doesn't it, to get the next level up. Oh, to get the next like tier of stuff. I'm going to... I'm going to go and get my loot and gogs. I'll come back and do all of this in a moment. I've got chocolate loot anyway, but if it's 100, it needs to be 101. There's no, like, there's no close enough is good enough with that. It either is or it isn't. So I'm going to take all of you, chuck whatever I can into that, and I'll come back in a moment. Yeah, that's the right move. That's, that's the right move. Plus, I'm also very aware there was a lot of explosions, a lot of fire. There might be some, uh, some screamers coming in. I mean, it's not nearly as bad a trip when you got the speedy biker dreams. I'm gonna quickly run inside, drop off some stuff. Do I... Oh, the crickets are chirping. Jeez, that took, that took all of the day and it still got hairy at the end. Uh, do I try and put on uh, the snipers now? Duct tape, I can make another two, which is not all that much. You can make some more water, please. That one, I can make 10 waters. That's gonna go a long way to make what I need to actually. Five, I'll chuck on you. Water, get you cooking. You've got no glue. Nor can I really make any, but you can get started on the two then. And there might actually be some more water up here. Search you, beautiful. Search you, beautiful. Nice. There's still some stuff in the bike, but I'll drop that off later on. Right now, I need to get the tradie, hand in my quest. Then go get all the loot that I definitely 
definitely earned. Not even being sarcastic. I earned that loot with my blood, sweat, and mostly blood. I'm wearing XP goals. Get the most out of this. All right, Huey. That was a shit show, but it was still a show all the same. So pay for your ticket, please. Chlamydia schematic. Ooh, a tier four ratchet. Absolutely. Absolutely. I was tempted to make a tier one a second ago. I'll absolutely take a tier four. Another infested. Where are you? you Johnson's Warehouses or and I'll get you a, a Cracker job. Cafe that's got well, books and I'm a fucking fiend for books. Smear that ink into the crevices of my brain. Beautiful. That's a good one. It's definitely foggier than when I left it last, but that's okay. I don't need to see. I just need to loot. I'm still in awe at how much damage has been done here. You know, like that little thought in the back of your, of your mind that's like, mm, maybe you shouldn't do this. That's what I had when I was... Oh, I can't get across from over here. When I was turning up the zombie damage. And yeah, I reckon that was probably a pretty reasonable and justified thought to have. Just quickly checking to make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, this is the way... I oh, okay. So I was basically at the end of the POI anyway before I exploded everything. Fair enough. Okay, I, I thought maybe I skipped some stuff, but nah, I was right here. Sure, I'll take you. Why not? I am wearing the appropriate goggles, so we're all good. Just want to quickly... I'll eat you, Sean. Double check. I'm over 101. I wish the loot levels made a bit more sense, especially because it just nullifies the pine forest, but it is what it is. I know it encourages you to go to new areas, but even so, risk should have reward, and that's not quite the reward. In fact, the only thing left for me to get out of you is the crucible. Explosives, time charges, some cash. Scrap you, scrap you. Take all of that. Actually, I'll chuck you into there just for now to save some space. Nice. Car parts box. Strapping for fun. That reminds me, actually, I've got the tier 4 uh, ratchet now. Beautiful. Modify you. Chuck in all of that. Gorgeous. So you're doing 79 compared to the 56 I was doing before. Absolute perla. I think that's going to be it. It's a shame I wasn't wearing my loot and gogs to harvest all of the loot bags that were up here because there was uh, a lot of them, but is what it is. I never actually went and checked at the very top, uh, the tippy top of the ceiling. I was looking for vultures and bones after all, and I mean, it's a slightly easier way to get up there now. Well, if I could jump, that is. Hang on. I saw a lot up. I saw a lot up. Just get out and around and... <laughs> There's so much gone. There's not really much up here anyway. Just someone calling for help in a toolbox. So no pigeons then. For the first time ever, I actually wanted some vultures and the game's like, nah, not happening. Alright then, fair play. Mind the giant cradle, let's get back home because the sun's about to set. That was yet another very dicey day in a long string of pretty dicey days. I might need to use some of my rather plentiful dosh. What have I got rolling? I've got like 80 grand on me and a lot of things to sell. I might have to use some of that to buy myself some more uh, dew collectors up here. Expand my water balcony purely so I can increase my duct tape production. Because that is significantly letting me down at the moment. I could continue the balcony out. That way, actually, I might actually do some rearranging right up against the um, right up against the chimney and get all of that going. That'll do nicely. Okay, but you, you've got that. You've got some more water in you, I'm pretty sure. Yes, you do. That's got to be. Sure, that's got to be uh, the last one I need for the duct tape so I can make that bloody sniper. I've been pushing for it for ages. So I've got exactly 50 duct tapes now. I've got, I'm five shy on steel, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue because I've got the ability to make my own now. Forge steel. Yep, just crank all that out for me. Beautiful. Let's get this more iron going. I'll put in some, uh, oh, I've got so much iron too. I've got so much of everything. You, come with me. You can go into there. Half in and half in. And we're going to have it. I mean, oh, I'm not going to be able to make the two, which is a shame, but I'll have one tier five sniper and we can start crossing all of our fingers for a tier six or in a box somewhere. Look at that. There it is. Tier five sniper rifle. Boom. There goes all of my duct tape. I actually have bulk springs. I've gone from no springs to lots of springs. I've got enough of that. I've got enough polymers. Need poor, uh, more poor polymers. Sure, going to need poor molomers if I'm going to make another sniper rifle later, but rifle parts aren't a problem. Forge steel is going to be an issue, but I can just keep on churning that out. I'm pretty stoked with that. I'm going to be so excited to have that bad boy in a moment, which means you are going to get retired. You take out the worst one. The T3 is going to change. Do I, ooh, do I even bother rolling? I mean, I've got a, some 
AP762. No, I think having the two snipers is still a really good idea. I really do. So I think you could probably still just roll the regulars. And I could put this uh, the armor piercing in the tier 5. No, because the armor piercing will bring the damage up in the tier 3. Yeah, no, nah, that's fine. That's all good. It's all fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. I've had these end tables waiting to go down for quite a while. And I guess today is going to be the day. That's going to be where my bed's going to go. We'll have a nice... Ooh, I mean, you're just kind of getting in the way now, aren't you? I don't really need the bracing anymore. I've gotten rid of all the rest of it throughout the place. So you can go. You can go. Need to actually get rid of the block on top of it as well. Because that's where the table candle goes. I love the end tables for that reason. I love that you can place a light inside the lampshade. It makes it look, look, looks like it makes sense. One of my favorite things... You go there, you go there, tape. No? You work? Why didn't I want to do it for me a second ago? I'm not sure, but I'll take you back again. And look at that. See? Okay, we've ever worked with lanterns as well. We want to be super bright, but I'm going to put my, uh, my big bed in the middle. <laughs> Probably to fix the skylight too. This is going to need the same kind of chimney flue that I've got on the other ones all the way outside. I've got... Nope, that's the wrong one, please, Josh. That one, there you go. I will need that shape there. Copy shape. Copy rotation. Chuck you in first. Get the peak as well in like that. There's a lot I have to do on the outside too to make it work because at the moment, shh, they're just dummy flues that have actually made it a space you feel better looking at it. Need to put some stuff on the outside too, but that's looking really bloody good. This house has come together so bloody nicely. I... I really, really like it in here. Plus, I got the balcony outside as well to admire my kind of handiwork out there. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here. When I come back, I'm going to have that better sniper so I can start taking on actually that Cracker Cafe quest. But I also want to start really pushing for refurbishment of my horde base. I need to do some mining. I need some stones. I need to make myself the concrete. Well, that's going to have to wait until the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like Make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If we're going to talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.